welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to be heading to summer lake city park with my friend keith how are you doing keith how's it going mark and i'll be riding the ride one up cafe cruiser as you see it right there and keith is going to be riding his rad rover right there and he's got a new rack on the back yeah it's the large rack from rad rover as you see it fits a backpack on there really nice and easy just got some bungee straps and strap it on there yeah looks like nice. a pretty large uh you could strap a couple of bags on there right oh yeah i, I believe the weight capacity about 60 pounds is it does use the rack that you know it's not solid like the ride one up is and what did they do for your lighting uh, so it comes with an extension cord so you just unplug the old one plug it in the controller and then yeah they give you an extension cord in, in a mounting spot right there it's real easy to to uh, transfer it over to the back and then i got this is an extra light that i put on there a lot brighter than the regular light yeah because otherwise that light would be hidden way up. oh yeah you, you can't see it so you can you know lift your back a little bit when you're right up on it it's gonna be hard to see it at right. time you want plenty of lights <clears throat> yeah that's true you can never have enough i suppose oh no all right so we're gonna ride and it's kind of raining and kind of not so it's cool out here damp uh windy all of that but we're gonna take our ride to summer lake city park now we've not been there before so this will be the first time Hopefully we don't get lost. it's one of those city parks like a community park all right so i'm going to be in uh my my usual uh pedal assist three three okay and gear oh, eight and so here we go on the overcast day. I've got my rain pants and jacket and gloves and the whole bit on. So if we do get caught in some rain, it'll be fine. So this uh, park is around five miles away, I believe, something like that. So. Just a few raindrops coming down at the moment. I'm going to tilt it camera up just a little bit more there I believe when we left for this ride, the temperature was right at 50 degrees. If you had to go, portal potty there for you. So I had the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser charging and it wasn't quite done charging but it's close enough it does have all the bars. So we're turning left here? Yeah, we'll turn. We'll make a left.
so the bars are all full on my uh, bike but I it wasn't quite finished charging but it's probably pretty close it was not much more to go changing gears to go up this hill went to 6th a little steep hill here I changed the 6th gear to get up there before we get to the light you might want to turn uh, Get on the other side because uh, it's going to be hard at the light there. Even if you have to go... Yeah, to get up there. Nice thing, there's no traffic. So that's the road there. Yeah. That's perfect, yeah. Got a new road today. Yep. So onward. Yeah, that hill there was no problem. I just went to fifth PAS five, yeah. and I'm down to gear six and just easy. Super easy. Yeah, easy to get up. Yeah, what I usually do, I'll keep my uh, bike in three, and then if I need a little bit more power, I'll start using the throttle. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah. But this only goes to uh, unless you unlock it, like Sierras, you'll have to unlock it if you want to go to 28 with throttle. It's, even if you're not going to use that all, you might want to just for that extra power for hill climbing. Well, that's a good way to avoid 99W. Yeah, that's a first for me. This gets you all the way over here, so. Sometime we should do, uh, well, we could do the Fennel Creek again all the way up and go into Beaverton. They're back here? Yeah. We can go cut through here. I'm 
Yeah, I th I thought we had to go a little. We could go down through uh, Elmer's and JR Furniture there, or come through here, the back of here. Uh, okay, there's a the street back over here. Let's go so, back that way. Okay. It goes behind the Kansas Phoenix. Right there. Okay. Yeah, I really need to get a a phone mount for the bike. I'm not just going in circles. What about a mirror? Yeah, I need that too. What about a, oh no, you got a bell. I pressed hard on the brake there and made it squeak. I'm usually um, pretty easy on my brakes. Yeah. I try to use them as, as little as possible. Right? As little as possible. Yeah. Got some hill climbing. Yeah, this bike, if you go in the highest PAS, it goes. I'm in five, it goes nice up this hill, no problem. I got five. Yeah, this bike just easy up the hill, no problem at all. That is a pretty good hill. This is my struggle. Yeah, this one no problem at all. What was this, 118? Yeah. Alright. So 121st of the Metro Line. Alright. I was in fifth. 
high, we got fifth gear, uh, pedal list uh, assist level number five. I'm in five, gear six on here, uh, pedal assist five, the highest one. And what, how was it doing? Was it doing pretty good? Right up it. This one was struggling a little bit. No, I didn't have to put no effort into it or anything really. It just glided up there. So that's probably the difference on these two bikes. That, you know, probably that lighter weight makes that uh, much um, If I was stayed in gear eight, it would have been harder, but if you drop it down a couple to six, it's nice. It makes a huge yeah. difference. So Sierra's probably gonna really like that. Oh yeah. That bike is definitely faster than the Rad Rover, for sure. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. One thing it's going to do is eat up your battery though, I, I lost a bar. What was that? I lost a bar already. I did too, you already lost the bar? Yeah, but I, I wasn't completely fully charged, so that bar might have been barely lit, you know? Yeah. Mine was going down one bar going up the hill, but right now it's back up to full, power, or full battery. Yeah, mine might go back too. Uh, the hills will really eat your battery oh, though. Yeah. But then you get the benefit, like now we're going down.
You know, with this bike, all you have to do is put it in pedal assist five. Yeah. If you have any trouble on hills, it'll go all right up. I'm sure you'll give the the other one uh, when you get it a good test. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah, three is good, and then occasionally up a hill, if it's a big hill, you'd have to go to five. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't really have to change your other gears, really. I have been, but... I wasn't even looking at the sign. Did we go by 2121? So we're on 121, what are we turning on to? <laughs> no, I was under the uh, 20. I think I was, I don't know, I was in the teens. I just noticed the sign right here says no motor vehicle. Does that mean electric bikes? I think we're fine. It's a very state by state. I think Oregon's fine. I think they mean like combustion.
So we have arrived at Summer Lake City Park. Oh, that's pretty narrow there. With my wide handlebars. <laughs> So we made it to Summer Lake City Park, first time here. How about you, Keith? Have you been here before? No, I haven't. First time here. All Come right. On. Oregon, they got endless amount of nice, beautiful parks. Oh, there's the sign right there, right? I was going to say, I haven't seen a sign yet. Yeah. This is the Summer Lake Playground right here. Yeah, pretty nice here. Yeah. It's really nice. Oh, well, we can take another park off the map now that we've been to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Keith, thanks for uh, joining me on this ride. All right, Mark. Uh, we got to see Summer Lake City Park. So thank you for joining me and Keith on this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for supporting us. Just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other vi uh, video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining us on this video. And until next time. Keep your wheels on the road. See you later. See you guys. <laughs>